Canon PS 8350, my new printer. Take me your arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. Uh, now I'm printing my photos at home, which is great. And this got me a bit closer to finishing the last process of photography. Let's go! And the printing was as epic as you saw it. Uh, there's just something to it when you press a button on your PC and it, your photo, your digital file gets printed and you hold it in your hands. That's just, just crazy cool. I like it. And then you can review it instantly and then even uh, you can hang it on a wall or throw it in a trash can. So, but we'll talk about this a bit later. Uh, let's talk about the can. So I was looking for a photo dedicated printer and uh, I thought to myself, okay, Canon is uh, creating great cameras. I think they should have the knowledge to create even good printers. And uh, I think I'm right. I'm not sure, but uh, I guess I am. And so I was looking actually for a photo dedicated printer. And I saw the Canon 100 Pro S printing in A3 format. Great prints. Uh, I think 8 or 12 inks. I'm not sure. And then I saw the price and I was sad because it's not in my budget, not, uh, not near my budget. So I switched my mind and I started to looking for a, a round printer with a, with a bit more weight on the photo printing side. Uh, so I saw the Canon TS A350. I saw it, I ordered it and two days later it arrived. Then I installed it, which was easy, really easy. The, the, the install program delivered by, the, by Canon is, is great, it works. And um, so I printed, so I started all, all printing and I printed four pieces and I was shocked. I was really shocked. I was, I was happy and, and, and confused in the same moment because the quality is good. The quality is really good. The blacks are black, beautiful black, not too dark. There are still some details in the blacks and the colors are, are great, are crisp, are sharp. There are enough details. And even how the how the light is presented is it's great it's great I think if you know what you're doing because my knowledge of printing is not that that huge right now so I'm 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 starting to learning about printing what to do how to edit what to what look out for and uh, but uh, it's a whole another uh, uh, video on this I think but let's go back to the printer it has six different inks including photo blue. Uh, which was the main argument why I bought it because I thought to myself when it has photo blue it has uh, a huge range of colors to be presented and the photos should be in a good quality and they are in a good quality it has Wi-Fi connectivity so you can print from any device at home smartphone tablet laptop PC Mac it it doesn't care just print it Send me the work, I print it. Great, awesome, I love it. Quality and life improvement by 10 times. And uh, it has borderless printing. Borderless printing means that the whole page, the whole A4 size of this paper will be filled with ink. And this is, I think, cool because now you have a stylistic choice if you want to have a, like a kind of a passepartout or you, have, you want a whole A4 paper full of ink. Absolutely up to you, your choice, and uh, it's great. There's so much more. There, that, that's a science. Printing is a science. Uh, I used everything from Canon, Canon ink, and Canon photo paper, and I'm going to continue to use everything original from Canon, uh, just because I want to uh, to to maintain the best possible quality that this little thing can uh, put out. So, but let's talk. Let's talk about the the dying part of photography imagine being a designer and your design 
only exists on a sketchbook or being an architect and your plan never gets built or being a photographer and your work never gets printed. For me, printing is the last little difference trying to escape the, the, this fast digital expanding world, trying to create something timeless, something meaningful and, and, and calming to, to, to get something out of this digital realm into, into our, our real world, embody it on a, on a plain and simple piece of paper and enjoy it, review it, hold it, create and while making it while doing it or sorting the pictures out for print you will automatically pick the best picture that you have with the most meaning behind it or a great memory behind it and it has so much power when hanging on the wall and walking by and taking a quick look at it and get inspired you see it and you think about it and the memory comes back and you're happy. And I think that's a good way to deal with a creative block. When you have your pictures hanging on the walls and you have a creative block, just look at them. Look what you created, look what you are actually capable of. And I think the creative block will just run away from you because you will be so inspired, so pumped and hyped that you are going to create the best images you have created. And there's also this power of, of gifting photography where Peter McKinnon made a great video about it to show the importance of gifting photography, not as a craft, but as a print or also as a craft. I mean, talk about photography and enjoy talking about photography uh, as much as you can but the prints are have a real power behind them when you gift someone a foot a, a print with in the right time with the right meaning behind it they will keep it probably for the rest of their lives and it can also inspire them it can give them uh, a strength when they're weak or it can just bring them joy print your work print your work uh, create as an artist and grow as a photographer and inspire as a human being and to end this one on a, on a quote the electronic image could no more replace a photographic print than a synthesizer could a violin. So thank you for watching. Uh, smash everything you see and we see each other in the next one.